My name is Abdul Malik. I am a Chechen refugee. I am a blogger, Chechen blogger in English, and I'm a human rights activist. Uh, I, I work with uh, different uh, organizations. Uh, I, as an activist, I work with Wayfond, and uh, basically, we're protesting today against uh, Romanian in front of a Romanian consulate against Amina Girihanova's extradition to Russia. So Amina Girihanova is uh, a well known today uh, a refugee who escaped the Russian terror from Chechnya, from occupied Chechnya, who fled to Ukraine. But when t Russian terror came to uh, Ukraine, she fled again, uh, Russian terror uh, from Ukraine. But when she was coming to Europe, the Romanian police have arrested Amina Girihanova and keeping her locked. Uh, since then separated from her eight-year-old child. So we're campaigning against uh, uh, Amina's extradition. We're asking uh, to stop the extradition and release Amina Girihanova. All her fault is that she wants to live free and bring up her child in peaceful environment. But uh, Russia has placed Amina Girihanova to the Interpol system, accusing her with false accusations, blaming her of being uh, in Syria, participating with uh, ISIS, uh, obviously, this is uh, lies and this is uh, false accusations. And uh, Amina Girihanova during that time has been uh, residing in Ukraine. We have all the evidence which we have provided uh, to Romanian authorities uh, that Amina Girihanova was residing and working uh, in Ukraine. But uh, unfortunately, when Russia attacked Ukraine, she had to flee. We don't see any reason unless uh, they have some kind of interests and some kind of agreements with Russia and therefore we're calling Romanian authorities to stop cooperating with Russia and stop believing uh, Russian false accusations and release Amina Girihanova. We also would, would like to ask all European uh, countries who are uh, keeping Russia as, uh, on, as a member of uh, uh, Interpol membership we're asking all the European countries to remove, of, uh, to exclude Russia from Interpol uh, membership because Russia is abusing the Interpol system. It is very difficult to say what will happen, but we would like to hope for, for good and uh, we would like to hope that Romanian authorities will understand eventually, they will realize how dangerous Russia is and how, uh, how uh, fake the uh, accusations from Russia and uh, we, we want to hope that they will take uh, the, the measures, the right, uh, uh, the right measures and they will release her. That's what we're hoping. And we had the demonstrations all uh, over through European countries like Norway, France, Austria, uh, Ireland, UK, all over. So. The protests will carry on unless Amina, uh, until Amina Girihanova is released. And uh, in fact, we might uh, 
have even massive, more bigger protests because simply we have no other options left. And, and, and I believe this hitting and damaging uh, Romanian uh, reputation, so they should take it serious and they should, they should believe basically what Ukrainian uh, authorities have provided. Not believing Ukraine is and believing Russia uh, brings us alert that Romania has got something to do with the ex-Soviet Union relations. So we hope they will stop cooperating with the terrorist state Russia and they will uh, let the innocent lady be free and unite with her eight-year-old child. That's what we're asking and that's what we hope.